All right, we're back with Colin Potts, and there was a special visit to your office yesterday. Yeah, it was real special. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, the video is great, but Rich's face watching him watch this was even even more fun. Uh, really, really great stuff. <laughs> All right, so so tell me about this um, yeah, this so employee. Rich comes by, and uh, <laughs> and then uh, Rochelle, who was uh, she went to the game on uh, on Saturday. Yes. And just had a ball. I mean, she was just as excited as I've ever seen her, and she's pretty excitable. And, <laughs> and so, uh, so then she started this whole thing. Rich uh, was kind enough to to give her a shirt, and uh, and then it, all bets it were just, off. Diva yeah. fever. Diva, Diva fever. Diva fever's, fever's alive and well, folks. And right like, like I said, Rich's face watching him was the <laughs> best part of it because. Oh, man. He wasn't scripted. It wasn't anything. No. It was just raw love of diva, diva love. And, I walked uh, in. His face was I fabulous. I walked in. She was working at something at her desk, and she looked up, and she started to immediately scream. <laughs> and I stood there for literally, it felt like a minute, just doing double <laughs> high fives right over top of the desk, you know? Hadn't exchanged anything except just seeing each other, right? So that, that ROSM energy, that diva fever, that love, is real. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and it's great to see that. And 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 the best thing was when you get myself and you get her and, and people who go and, and really have a great experience spreading the word, mm -hmm. because people are like, no, you need to go. It's not, hey, think about it. I'm telling people you need to go, and telling everyone it's because it, it, it is too much fun. And I'm like, it's right in your backyard. And um, we have tickets, and we send an email out, out to all of our staff and got a really large response of people wanting to go so that's a great thing it was a great thing tell me what it was like when you came and spoke to the team recently and you, you stand there after seeing them work so hard and practice and you have your own thoughts about what you've just seen and then you have the things that you want to share that you've been on your mind and your heart that you want to impart to people when you look across at that group of 40 or so people what did you see in their eyes and what did you feel from their hearts back to you it's always an amazing experience when you go to speak to people in, in, in this background. Um, I think at first it was slightly overwhelming because you see all these people that have their own journeys and have been knocked down and some people uh, multiple times and the experiences of life. So you try to relate to people on that life basis and it's always a challenge in certain ways. But then, you know, I have my story. and and, and talking and reassuring and, and talking about the power of positivity and resiliency and, and how you build back after a loss and, and how important those things are. And the, the biggest message was no matter what happens on a daily basis, there's one thing we can control and that's our attitude. And that's the most important thing in life because we have that choice. And so many other times and so many other things we deal with, we don't. But how we manage ourselves through that process. But looking in their eyes and the enthusiasm and their respect towards me and the way they listened was, was really powerful. And so you always hope if you can connect with one or two people, but hopefully it was more than that. But I feel like I did uh, seeing coming back and seeing everyone and how many people came up to talk to me. So, And that's a great thing because if, uh, if I can share my life experiences and someone can learn one one thousandth of what I've been through from those experiences, uh, that's a great day for me. And I love to help people. And, and just, you know, we all need a little bit of help and we all need some hope and, and it's so powerful when you can just reach people that just need that boost and, and we all need that from time to time. So hopefully I provided that nicely and uh, the, the response has been great and I certainly enjoyed myself, but wonderful, wonderful people. Dr. Positivity. <laughs> well, you provided a perspective work. and anytime you can connect work. with somebody on a personal perspective, it's, mm -hmm. it's always very powerful. Yeah, it's, uh, and, and that's, that, that's the most important thing. And, and we all, like I said, we all have our journeys and you're respectful of people's journeys and, and what they go through. And, and, uh, and certainly that's the challenge in life. But if you, if you accept those things and you learn from those things, it's amazing what you can do with your life moving forward. It certainly is. And what an amazing ride it is. And so thankful that you're on the journey with the DC Divas. And likely we're on the same journey with ROSM. It's a wonderful thing. And we're uh, more than pleased to have you aboard. Well, I appreciate that. And it certainly means so much to us. And I think, you know, uh, when I was with Dr. Farrell on the sidelines and 
and the fun, but the excitement and, and just being a part of building something very, very special. And I, you know, believe in it more every day and we believe in it. And it's certainly not just, hey, we're here for a little while, now we're here. And and it's just, it's a powerful relationship and, and to provide something to the players to, to elevate healthcare for someone, yes. to give them that opportunity to get back on the field and to have that reassurance that they're getting the best of the best care. And that's what we want to do. It's our number one priority, take care of ourselves. And we can't do that without great people around us. And you are indeed that. Well, we appreciate and Hannah's it. over there quietly in the corner and talk about great people. We've got to give her a nod, too. Yeah, no, Hannah's the best. And uh, right. certainly uh, with all the help and, 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 and coordinating uh, when all the players come in and visits and appointments and doctors and facilities. And you know, she's kind of the unsung hero that, you know, people aren't going to always see. But she does an amazing job. And I'm so grateful for everything she does for the Divas, but also for what she does for Rossum and myself every day. She responds to us as if we are, and we are, professional athletes. Yeah. And the level of care and concern is immediate, mm -hmm. and we're very, very thankful for that again. And most important, it's family. Yes. And we feel like we're a part of your family. And I felt that from the second one, and it grows every time, and uh, just proud to be a part of the family. All right, family, next Wednesday at 2.30, as the Diva Nation turns. We're at soap opera time here at 2.30 <laughs> on a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, we're looking forward after uh, to prevent preview more of that Boston battle on April 27th at our brand new home, the St. James. Uh, it's going to be one heck of a game, and we're hopeful that everybody will be there. Get those tickets online now, dcdivas.com. Check out our brand new website, which debuted today. Brand new, fresh look. We hope you will enjoy it as much as you did being part of Diva Nation today. We'll see you again next week. This content is brought to you by Dental Associates. For more than 39 years, Dr. Stephen Price has been practicing dentistry in Northern Virginia. A member of the American Dental Association, the Northern Virginia Dental Society, and the Virginia Dental Society, Price is considered an expert in Invisalign and continues to be an award-winning innovator in the industry. 